I think they've about eaten this down pretty good. There's some still in the back, but they have completely decimated that one right behind the trailer. See you later, girls. But yeah, see you later. The latest one. Those buzzards. Morning from Providence Farmstead. We're gonna go up here real quick and check on our little strawberry patch. We still haven't gotten the other strawberries in the ground yet, but uh, we should have some up in front of the cabin. <laughs> it's like we have a deer problem. And they have just munched our strawberries down like crazy. Unfortunately, that over there is where we're going to put more strawberries. Yeah. But if the deer are going to eat them all, it may not be a good idea. You've been all through this. There's tracks all in here. Yeah. Getting Joe some briars and brambles. That's what she likes. Got this whole pasture full of grass. She won't hardly eat it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jojo? Yum, yum. All right, let's go. Found a kitty. We turned our roosters loose so that we could put uh, the chicks in the big pen. Yep, two extra roosters. I'd always planned to butcher them, but uh, now they're just tick killers. <laughs> Sometimes there's just not enough time and nobody has dealt with butchering them, so they're fine like that. They can eat all the bugs they want to eat. Good morning, babies. You guys are getting so big. Are you big old babies? Yeah, big old babies. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Cocklebur. Yeah. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Cocklebur. I don't have any milk for you. You have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait just a few more minutes. Hi, Jojo. Be nice. I gave you some briars this morning. Isabel says she's already starting to slow down. So. Really? Hi, Rosemary. You frothy, frothy. So while she waits and takes care of other things, she hangs the milk on this tea post, which we didn't put there on purpose, but hey, it works. Yeah, it does keep the cats out of it. Or the goat from stepping in it. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's bees up there. About time to move the girls. There's still some down here. For some reason, they don't tend to come down on this end. I have a love hate relationship with this one. It sure is pretty. And I know the wildlife likes it, but it's also pretty vicious.
I still have tomatoes. Yes, but this is what I want to show you. Hold this, please. We have some okra, cucumber, zucchini, and some melons coming up. I also started a few more tomatillos, some mortgage lifter tomatoes, and some pineapple tomatoes to succession plant. And out of all the melons, the only ones coming up so far are the Kajari melons. <laughs> I guess they must be pretty fast to germinate, huh? The boys are really excited to see what happens with their melons. Aren't you, Betty? Are you going to grow the biggest melon? So we couldn't find any hornworms last night, but we did find a couple of different looking caterpillars that were kind of gray colored. I'm going to go ahead and spray the garden down with some neem oil because we also have a lot of flea beetles. And this should take care of both. It's almost, the sun's about to go down, so that's a perfect time to spray with neem oil. You don't want to do it when the sun's going to be shining real hard on it because you'll fry your plants. And you don't want to do it when the bees are flying around because it will affect the bees. By morning, this will be dried up enough that it shouldn't affect anything, although I haven't seen many bees out here, surprisingly, considering my neighbors have bees. So, um, this is pure neem oil, and I just have a little hand sprayer today I'm going to use because I didn't want to go dig in the shed for my great big one. <clears throat> it's still a vacuum sprayer, it's just a little bit smaller. So, um, you can give it a good shake. This is water. I have a little bit of dish liquid in here. We still use Dawn. It's the one thing my husband won't give up. And then you put about a tablespoon to two tablespoons in here. And then give it a good shake and spray it on. The dish liquid acts as an emulsifier because you need something to combine you need something that will help to combine the water and the oil, because water and oil, obviously, they don't really like to combine together, so the dish liquid helps make that happen. More than likely, I will have to refill this, because it won't be enough to do the whole garden, but that's okay, because I just said so. <laughs> so, you just give everything a good spray. And hopefully this will take care of all of our problems. We don't want to lose everything. Right, guys? Hey, Mama. Hmm? Can you try? Yeah, sure. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Come here. Can you push this button? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Last night... Um, and yesterday I found something really interesting on a tomato leaf that you know I could be wrong but looks exactly like squash bug eggs and I just found some more so I was going to show you squash bugs whenever we get them on our zucchini I go around and I pick them off and this is always what the eggs look like and I've looked them up and googled them just to make sure and that's certainly what they look like to me they're kind of gold and I don't understand why they're on my tomatoes. And I, I hope that I'm not wrong here and that they are squash bug eggs because I've been squishing them. I definitely don't need those in my garden. Hi, well, Nicky Kitten. Yesterday, I came through this little patch that we still have to rework and found three volunteer potatoes, two volunteer cucumbers, a couple volunteer zinnias that I replanted, I think a volunteer sunflower I replanted, and some volunteer peanuts from last year. But they were, oh yeah, and some dill, but they were pretty dry, so I told Sawyer he better put some water on them. We'll see what happens. They were his peanuts from last year, so we'll have to see. Are you eating some lettuce? That's nice. It's really good at it. 
Mm. You've got Chris's knife. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, he still really likes your knife. Don't you, buddy? <laughs> it's the golden hour here in our garden. I got everything doused with some neem oil, um, including the potatoes. I am a little concerned for some of them because I saw some damage today that I have never seen before. Hey, buddy. You weeding? Yeah. yeah. So our potato row is still need a little bit of weeding done, but we've been getting closer. Um, this row here, these are my purple majesty potatoes, and this is what I'm finding. I don't know if you can see the light, but they are shriveling up and dying, and I have no idea why. Here's another one. So, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, and you can see there's, you can see there's some in the middle of this plant. <sighs> so hopefully, whatever it is, it will stop, so that we can get some potatoes, because those were my best potatoes. We did plant some more seed potatoes, but so far I don't see anything coming up. It is a little bit late. So we just may not get very many potatoes this year, and that's okay. That's all right. Not a big deal. Peppers are making a comeback. Looking pretty healthy. <laughs> that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching and hanging out with us. We are probably going to be at 500 subscribers by the time you see this. Hopefully, if not, we'll be pretty darn close, and I'll be ready to give away some Kajari melon seeds. So I will talk to you soon. Have a blessed week.